Okay, there's been a lot of talk on our thread about how much amp draw and um, the things all these servos are taking in our DLGs. This is a cell on it. It has Hyperion DS09 digital servos in the wing and it has two SM22JR analog servos in the fuselage. What I've done is I've made a little harness here to measure the amp. You have to break the circuit. So I took the positive lead out of a, uh, a servo extension, split that going into my multimeter. Go ahead and turn that on. And when I take out the switch jack, that'll arm. You can hear things start to chatter a little bit. And as you can see, just resting, we're drying 0 0.05 amps. Now this is a Blue Arrow uh, BEC. It can handle one amp. And uh, I don't think we're ever going to get to one amp. So right now I'm deploying full flaps. That's stalling the servos. You can see we're at 0.3 amps. Start moving things around. Let's spike to 0.7. That's uh, 0.83. Four. I'm moving all surfaces here, and you can see the flaps are still fully deployed. Moving tail, elevator, rudder. I'm just doing the whole circle thing on the on the sticks here. Quiet everything down. We're back to point zero five. So we never spiked above one amp, and that's moving all surfaces, stalling some of the servos, and uh, as you can see, it's just fine. Now the BEC does get a, a bit warm, but uh, it's rated to handle one amp continuous, and I believe a two amp burst. And uh, hopefully that uh, that clears up some of the problems, or some of the confusion anyway. One thing I forgot to mention is that this is running a 2S LiPo. It's a 360 milliamp hour RC Builder LiPo. Thanks.